In this Adobe Premiere Pro video editing tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create side-by-side -side split screen effects, or four up square tiled effects. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a new sequence. I'll go to File, New, Sequence, and I'm just going to be working with the 1080p, 1920 by 1080. I'm just using the one of the presets in the DSLR 1080p menu. Or if you have a 1920 by 1080 clip, you can always just right click on that clip and create a new sequence from whatever clip that you're working with in the project media panel. And it'll just make the sequence whatever size that clip is. So in this case, 1920 by 1080. Regardless if you're working with 4K or 1080, the idea is going to be the same. You're going to want to go to your new sequence and drag in the two or however many clips that you want to put side by side. We'll start with the two up example. And I'm just going to drag those clips in. Now these clips that I'm using are actually, some of them are 4K. So if it does say that this is mismatched, just click keep existing settings. So you, whatever sequence size that you're working with that you want to end with is what you're going to start with. If all of that's confusing to you, I do have a whole separate tutorial on understanding sequence sizes that you can check out. But let's not get too caught up in that detail. We essentially have these two clips on the timeline now. And what I want to do is place them both on top of each other simultaneously. So this one is on, let's put this one on video track 2 and put this one on video track 1 underneath. Now I want to highlight one of the video clips and make sure the effect controls panel is visible. And then you can lower the scale down. So if I lower this to 50, if you ever look in the info tab, I can see this is more like a 4K clip. You see a 3 800 by 2000 pixels. It's bigger than our 1920 by 1080 sequence. So cutting it in half by 50 actually just brings us back to our normal size. So in this case, I'll use 25 to bring it all the way down to a quarter of the screen. If you were working with a 1920 by 1080 clip, then 50 would be fine. 50 will bring you back to that same size, but I'm going to do that. And then on the other clip as well, you want to bring it down to whatever will make it about a quarter. We're just going to end up with some cropping. So I have these two clips now, both a quarter of the size, and I want to basically split them side to side. They're already aligned vertically. So they're already centered vertically is what I mean. And one trick that you can do is just in the program window, grab this wrench icon and show rulers and guides. And this will help you snap things to the rulers and guides. So you can always just use the position menu in the motion section. And you can just drag the position all the way to the edge so that there's no black showing. And I can just use my arrow keys to get exactly on the edge, up and down arrow or right and left. And then I can do the same thing for the other one. Just slide it all the way to the right so that there's nothing showing. And in this way, we, we get this two up effect. Another way that you can do this that is also intuitive and simple is just by highlighting the motion in the effect controls panel, making sure your selection tool is active in the program window. You'll see these blue bounding boxes come up. And in this way, you can actually drag your video around and you'll see it snap to the corners. You'll see it snap to the edges of other videos. And you can even center it back again if you want. So in this case, I can just simply snap it to the edge like that and then take my other one, same thing, snap it to the edge. And one nice trick that you can do to create a little bit of border is I can just use my arrow keys when this bounding box is active. Maybe I can go one, two, three, four to the left, and I can highlight this other one. And actually you can just switch between them by clicking. You don't even have to highlight the layers, you can switch like that. And I can highlight the other one, and I can go one, two, three, four arrows to the right, just to create this little centered boundary. And that's another idea that I can use to create this two up effect. And also the background right now, although it's showing black, is actually transparent. So if I were to take these two, put them on, scoot them up one video track, and go to my project panel, and go to file, new, color mat, and I can add whatever color mat I want. So let's say I add a white color mat, that'll pop up in my project panel and I can drag that underneath the clips. And now I have a new background, which is more like this white background. So this can work great for montages or split screen sequences. And not only can you use this idea for doing two clips up at a time, I can do the same thing if I wanted to do four clips. Let's just add two other clips here. 
Just make sure we scale them all down appropriately. So this one, 50. This one, 25. And then I can just use my mouse tool, the selection tool, highlight the motion section, and just drag everything so it snaps to a corner. So I'll snap all these to a corner, snap all these to the corner. And now I have this four tiled effect. In this case, there's no background showing, but same thing. Now we have four videos playing at the same time. So hopefully this showed you some cool tools about the snapping and rulers and scale and positioning clips next to each other on multiple layers. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.